everybody, I'm back for a quick video. I had a few questions about the various uh, pocket size ring notebooks that I have, and I wanted to get a ruler out. Um, so when you first saw my journey in pocket rings, oh, what about a month and a half or so ago? I had the clear plastic uh, ring that you get from Amazon. I ended up taking the rings out and putting in a, um, not in this one, but in another notebook. And I'm going to save that for another day to show what I've done with that. Um, but someone had some questions about the comparison between the, this is the Filofax Domino in the fawn. It looks like leather, it feels like leather, but it isn't. It is some sort of a, you know, synthetic plastic uh, item that is really nice. It looks like leather, feels like leather. It has pockets. There's this kind of suede underside to it. And one thing I love about it is it does have a pen loop. Um, and it does have an elastic closure. So it does look, even though it is a Filofax, it, um, and it even says Filofax here on the pocket, Filofax Domino Soft Pocket Organizer. Um, it looks like a traveler's notebook. So there's that. Um, but the first leather one that I got was this beautiful bourbon this is uh, a Mystic's Little Gifts, and this is in her bourbon leather, and it is a wonderful leather. It reminds me of the Creme Brulee by um, uh, Chic Sparrow, which is the same as the Butterscotch Wanderlust of Foxy Fix. And then, just this week, I received these two beauties. This is um, the spice leather, and this is the cinnamon color. And what's unique about the Foxy Fix, I have a little bit of cash in there. I'm using it as a wallet and my personal planner and my Weight Watchers um, little guide. I'm almost 25 pounds down. I'm 24.4. So next week, hopefully, to be around 27 or 28. Um, so this is the Foxy Fix in the uh, pocket in the spice. And then I also got through the mystery sale, which you've seen the video. This is the um, wild flower leather in the cedar. And you will see it is the exact same design with the pocket there, the crisscross pockets and all of that. So I had questions regarding the Foxy Fix and how they compare. And so I took, I did a little research and, and um, took some of my own personal measurements on these notebooks. And here's what I found. The Foxy Fix uh, pocket ring binders. The rings, see if you can, the rings in the Foxy are amazing, and it's really hard to see, but in there you'll see Kraus. It says K-R-A-U-S-E. These Kraus rings are 20 millimeters, and listen, I'll see if you can hear it. When I close them, I mean, they are just, you know, tight and perfect round and there's no like when you move the you don't hear any jingle jangle of these little flaps I mean they're just beautiful beautiful rings and both of my foxies the um, spice and the wildflower in the sear both have the same ring now the bourbon from Mystic's Little Gifts. Let me 
take all this stuff out. I got a bunch of stuff in there that I don't really need in there. You can hear, you can hear these little things and you can actually see them, they move. It doesn't affect the ring, but these are a, a 20, millimeter, 20 millimeter ring as well. And 20 millimeters is slightly more than 3 fourths of an inch, just so you know that. Um, and even when they're closed, you'll hear how they jingle a little bit. So that's a 20 millimeter ring in the Mystic's Little Gifts. And the Filofax, here let me take these out. <laughs> Those are my inserts. You can also hear that in the Filofax and you can actually really see that. And they're a thinner ring. You can hear like a higher pitch, lower pitch, next higher pitch, and then the highest pitch in the sound when they close. Hear that? Slightly lower in pitch. I guess that's because I'm a musician I noticed that. I know, it's, it's lame, but listen. Here. So, but these are, the um, Filofax are a 19 millimeter ring, and I did start to have a little bit of opening here. Now, of course, I've used and loved this, and it is, I used it as a wallet and carried it everywhere. It's, it's a wonderful notebook, but even when it's, hear that? Even when it's closed, these little, I don't even know what they're called, move. On the Krauss rings, they don't move at all. Now, maybe they will, when it's open, they do, because there's no tension on them. But now that it's closed, nothing. So I thought that was very interesting. So that's the first thing. The Mystic's Little Gifts and the Foxy Fix are 20 millimeters, and the Filofax is 19. Now, the next thing is a little bit more different, which I was really surprised at how different it was. Since I've got stuff in this one, and these are exactly the same, I'll set that aside. One thing that I did notice, which you can easily see here, out of these notebooks, the Filofax is, if you measure with it open from left to right, it is nine and a half by five and three fourths. The Mystic's Little Gift, Gifts, sorry, I always forget the S at the end, is 10 inches by five and a half. So the Mystic's Little Gifts is wider than the Filofax, but it's shorter. And you can even see here that it is shorter. And I will zoom in so you can see that. Now, the Foxy Fix, this one, both of them, the Beautiful Cinnamon and my Wildflower, these are nine and three fourths in width but six inches in height. And I think that could have something to do with the um, slight, the, the angle of that. So if we compare just these two, boop, I can't, boop, the pocket. <laughs> so you can see the Mystic's Little Gifts is wider, but you can see that's half an inch shorter. And then, if we compare that, so the Foxy is the tallest. The Mystic's Little Gifts is the shortest, but the widest of them all is the Mystic's Little Gift. So we'll put them widest, that one, then 
the fuck, see? It's hard because of that pocket back there. And then... The Filofax. So it's shortest, but widest, tallest, and in the middle, and it is the shortest on both ways. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. You know, short, well, compared to that, it's taller, but it's not as wide. Anyways, so I don't know if this video will help anybody. Um, the one thing, though, is I was able to take everything that I have in this spice and fit it in all of these uh, pocket ring binders. So I'll just do a quick little run through. So you saw I had some cash and my Weight Watchers uh, booklet to track my weight. I have to show it to them when I go every week. But um, I have some dashboard, or uh, not a dashboard, a divider I made, some post-its. This is the, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. this is the um, Peanuts Planner Co. Um, month on two pages, dated 2018. It was a free insert, and I just got my new Coco Daisy kit, so I added all of the new washi, except for the dated, the stuff that the days of the week. I've got a second, um, and I got the whole year of months there. I have a second divider with my weekly, and I've got some Coco Daisy inserts cut down. That was last week. Here we are in this week with some more Coco Daisy. Um, and so I've got weeks for the rest of the month in here. I have another divider with our, it's our bills section where I keep track of all of our bills and I need to update this. This is the last place it hasn't been updated. But that's how I'm using to keep track of that on the go. Another divider and just um, some notes, some quick sketches and some more tax information to be aware of and some YouTube video ideas and I was taking a little hand lettering course, another divider and some blank grid from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I got some Coco Daisy post-its. This is my students, students teaching. Uh, I have a little page so I can keep track of what they're working on. I have all of my Kobonichi, uh, the four stencils in here. And then I have, this is the Filofax little envelope that came in it. And then I have a um, Traveler's Factory uh, writing board from this last year. So I was able to fit all of this stuff in each of these binders. Um, I did make the tabs because I laminated them a little too wide, but they fit. See that? It's perfect. So there you go. Um, if you have, oh, and I gotta put those back in there. They're my washi, washi uh, samples on these beautiful glitter cards from Sparkle Paper Company. Yeah, I got those this last week, I think, in the mail. So there you go. Just a quick little look at the pocket rings that I've been using. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment down below. I will link Foxy Fix, Mystic's Little Gifts, Filofax, Peanuts Planner Co, because that's the inserts, Coco Daisy, because of the lovely washi, this is all Coco Daisy, and um, Sparkly Paper Co for those. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.